Hi, Dave Lawrence here from calfonts.com. I hope you enjoy this Font Lab 7 video. Hi, this is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. If you've ever noticed those export problems that we have when we interpolate a, a thin G that looks like this, or maybe a six, so let me put a G, a six, a D, a B, a lowercase b. See, all these things have this where it connects the straight line with these rounds. And a lot of times these can get too thin in certain places or stuff can sort of scrape against each other. And what this is called is Glyph Masters. And it also helps, uh, another thing that it helps with, it helps you with having to fix exports, but now with variable fonts, it helps those look better so that way certain parts aren't looking too thin. So what I wanna do is show you just exactly how that works. So here are the panels that you want to have open. Have your variations panel open, have your elements panel open, have your layers and masters panel open, and also put up your um, preview. Okay, so you can see here, let's go to 17 at thin. Look how nice and even it looks. See this join here, That's this is a, a thick part here. Uh, maybe I adjusted it too thick, but watch what happens to when I go back to 17, but I delete the Glyph Master. So the Glyph Master, you can see here in the Layers and Masters panel, my the main ones are gonna be here in black, in bold, and then the other ones are all the Glyph Masters that I have for this here, for Zed. Okay, so let's delete him, and we're just gonna say, just delete him at the Glyph, and then we're gonna go back to the thin. See what happens? This just looks too thin. It doesn't look good. It's not in the style of my font. Okay, so what we are gonna do is we are gonna add that back in. So what you do is go to the area that you wanna have the Glyph Master. You can type that in here or you can use the slider to get to where you want. And so once we're there, 17 I chose because that's what I have other people at 17. And since that's an actual export weight of my thin, I wanted that to be it. I like to line up the Glyph Masters with actual exports. Now I click on Add Glyph Master, <clears throat> and I say Current Glyph Only, and then I push OK. Now I want to tell you about one other thing, is if, you want, if say, one letter was just a little bit not dark enough, like an S or an A or something like that, you could actually choose a number you could actually do this is choose a number like 25 or some what a you know no, that's too much but say you choose a number like 20 you add this and then you change this number to 17. so then it uses the drawing from this 20 and it uses it for 17 making the 17 a little bit thicker so that works great for letters like the s triple stackers like the s the the lowercase s the a and the E. So, but we're not going to do that. For this one, we want to actually just get it at 17 so all the strokes are exactly the same. Okay, current glyph only. So now I'm going to do that. So now we can go in and edit the number 17 to fix up this, this part that is just too thin over here. So I'm going to hold shift and pull that down a bit. Now you see his chin's getting a little bit wobbly. So we're just gonna, this, usually I would do a lot more measurement and stuff to make it look better, because it's looking a little bit off here. Let's get this. These are tricky ones to sort of get right. Uh, let's modify it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do a little bit more, and just so you can see what's happening. Uh, so that's about a 15. This is about a 15, so maybe he's a little bit too much. We're going to bring him up by maybe one. Okay. I did better on the last time I did I did this, I think. <laughs> Anyways, 
you get the idea. This is now a better sort of thicker weight. And um, you also you want to make sure that when you are doing these glyph masters, make sure that you, this is something you don't want to do on the early stages. You want to make sure your coordinates are not being rounded because that is going to mess him all up. Um, and I recommend this is a good thing to do for fonts that are um, like you're exporting fractional exponents, like it's a more exact sort of font like this one. Okay, so now look at, now it's using the 17 to mix out all this stuff. So that is making our, our low, our really thin stuff just look a lot more even down here than he would have without it. Okay, so that impacts your variable masters and does all that. So that's it for these glyph masters. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.